Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 19. Let's go ahead and spend these two skill points that we have. I'm going to put both of them into, uh, whoops, it's under agility. Flurry of blows. That'll help us beat the shit out of some zombies. All right, let's do some farming this morning and then we are headed back to that town we found just south of Joel's town and we're going to raid the doggos and the Bob's boars that we marked on the map in the last episode. Let's set the day off with a challenge. Silence of the Lambs. Oh, screamers. Hey, stop fucking with my bike. She's dead. Ah, oh, she got a scream off. Yeah, incoming zombies. Oh, that was easy. All right. Let's go. All right, here we are. First raid of the day. Doggos. We should get a good amount of rotten flesh here from all the zombie dogs. And this will probably be the last day that we actually go out aggressively looking for rotten flesh. Because I think already we're at a point where we don't need any more. I mean, the food's starting to accumulate. We don't got to worry about that shit anymore. Farm's looking good. But I figure let's do it one one last time, you know, between this POI and Bob's Boars. We'll get a lot of rotten flesh today. And we really won't have to worry about it anymore. Let's wake these dogs up now. Come on, you mutts. Here we go. Let's get behind this door. This is the door that closes. Bust out the pistol. Fuck off. Nice. Check this bathroom real quick. Ammo and acid. Nothing. Murky water. Alright. I'll take it, I guess. Nothing behind there. Backpack. Honey, eat it now. What the hell? Ravioli, we're gonna scrap. Even though it's stuffed with cheese and not meat, it's still made with eggs and we're not eating eggs, so we're scrapping the ravioli. Even though it's stuffed with cheese. What kind of fucking savages stuff meat into ravioli? If you want meat with your ravioli, make a meat sauce. What's a meat sauce called? A gravy. That's right, look, we're learning things on this channel. Isn't it great? Going up. Let's grab these tires first. Oh, well, we're not really grabbing tires. We're getting a couple of plastic parts from them. It's a shame you don't get tires from tires anymore. You used to. And it was nice, because even if you didn't need the tires, you could sell them because they sold for a good amount of money. Now you get plastic for some reason. Nails. Scrap those. Gunpowder. Uh, grab this seat. And this one. Scrap both of those for the leather. And is there a bird out here? Guess not. Okay, going back inside. Here we go. Yeah, feel these fucking fists of fury. Or what, what is it? What did I put points into? Oh yeah, flurry of blows. Feel these flurry of blows. Oh! Fuck off, Mo! Jesus Christ, how many punches is this guy gonna take? Duffel bag. Dog. Close that door. Ah, back up. Here comes a zombie, too. Well, you're gonna have to wait your turn, zombie. Whoops. Wasted that cement. Scrap both of those things. Alright. Clear. Ah, 
Ranger's Guide. Shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. That's pretty good, I guess, but I kind of give up on the bow and the crossbow pretty early on. I mean, the compound bow and the compound crossbow are pretty good, but you don't get those until later on, and by that time, I already have a gun, and I'd rather use a gun. I mean, they're good if you're trying to be silent, but I don't give a shit about being silent. One piece of cornmeal. I guess I'll take it. <laughs> it's like even in a series where I use cornmeal. Getting one piece fucking sucks. It's bullshit. Desert wear. All right, up to the roof. There might be a wolf up here. There's a bird. Ah, damn it, bird. Caught me off guard. I was worried about the wolf. Oh, shit. Um, where is it? Come on, damn it. All right, fine. I'll chop you up, bird. If this wolf drops down on my head, I'm gonna be pissed. Get up here. Fucking tree, man. Uh, I don't see it. Did it jump off the roof? Is it down there? I don't know. Maybe it's trying to work its way back up the building? Did it fall down there? Well, I don't see it, so I'm just gonna grab the loot. And uh, I guess we'll find it on the way back down. Sounds like the wolf is, uh, right around here. There's the zombie. There's the wolf! Oh, shit. Die, you son of a bitch! Wow. The last round in the magazine put the wolf down. How do you like that shit? Fuck off, meat. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's much going on in this backyard, but we might as well... Check it out. I think there's maybe a backpack in the, uh, the kennel here. Grab this other tire. And this one. And these. Duffel bag. Aloe. I'll take it. Alright. I think that's it for doggos. Let's, uh, we can just jump over the fence like this. Got some trash here. Brass and oil. And fuck that sandwich. Okay, Bob's Boars is next. Actually, let's grab some main loot real fast. I know this POI. Let's grab the cement and cobblestone first. And then this is another. POI, you can easily grab the main stash if you know where to dig. And the spot to dig is uh, right here. But let's uh, first knock out these stone pallets. Might as well. Get a little bit of stone right here. And then you can start digging right here. By doing that, you can get to the, uh, uh, the ladder bit easier. Let's get, we gotta get this out of the way. I think we might have to go down one more block. Because the ladder doesn't reach all the way up. There we go. Now we can uh, easily climb up that ladder and get up here to ground level in the event uh, a whole bunch of zombies jump out at us. Even though I don't think they will. I think the loot here is blocked off. Yeah, it is. So, we're free and clear. To take all this shit with minimal effort. Level 1 steel pickaxe. Is that any better than our level 4 iron though? Yeah. Actually way better. Okay then. Let's uh, take one of the modifiers out of the iron pickaxe. We'll do the iron one. That one's stone. This is iron. And we'll put that in the pickaxe. Cool. And we found some more knuckle parts, which is good. 
think we have nine back at home, but we need 12 to craft the level four steel knuckles, so we're still a little short. Oh, let's get up this ladder. I don't know how many zombies are in that area there. Now well, we woke up a bunch of zombies in the house. Fuck it. Let's get back down there. I want to just grab this cobblestone. Oh, we got a zombie right here. She's beating on that pipe. Let her beat the pipe. Do your worst, lady. Got a crawler coming around. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with him. Let's see if we can grab this shit real sneaky without her noticing. Nope, she noticed. Damn it, lady. Um, we got this one piece of cornmeal. You know what? I know it's the farmer series, but fuck off, cornmeal. You gotta, I gotta do it. What the fuck? It's one piece. I'm not gonna hold on to one piece of cornmeal. I got like two stacks of corn back home. <laughs> you know? Now you know why fuck cornmeal. Because it's bullshit. May crafting it is one thing. If you have two stacks of corn because you're growing a farm and you want to craft cornmeal to make pumpkin bread, go for it. But when you're looting and you find one piece of cornmeal, throw that shit on the ground. Alright, back at Bob's Boar's and fucking Carl's place. I'm gonna grab this cobblestone and cement first, and then we're gonna go through this POI the legitimate way, not through Grace's, uh, cage or whatever. Because there's a bunch of rotten flesh in the basement where you first start off. And, uh, plus it's only noon. We got plenty of time. Might as well loot this place legitimately. And then, like I was saying at the beginning of the episode, even if we come across another Bob's Boars, I'll probably skip it. Just because how many times can we raid this POI? You know what I mean? And, and like I also said, we don't really need more rotten flesh because our farm is at a point where it's keeping us fed. As we get more rotten... There's usually a pig in there. Huh. Anyway. Uh, as we get more rotten flesh by killing zombie dogs or birds or whatever, yeah, we'll continue to grow the farm, but it's not like we're in a rush to grow it because we need the food. We're, we're good on food. Now, for this guy. He gets pretty aggressive, plus he's blocking the door and shit. I'm gonna try and not kill him. So we're gonna close the door in his face, and then we'll just bust through the wall here. Oh, man, I told you, he's aggressive, this one. All right, I'm still gonna try to not kill him if I can. I'm gonna let him break through the door, and then I'm gonna lead him outside, and then get back in and close the door behind me, trapping him outside. And then it'll be like a race to clear the house before he catches up to us. It's like a little mini game, you know? Oh, he's stuck on the stairs. Go around, you stupid pig. This way. Oh, now he made it through. Come on, motherfucker. What is this, ring around the rosy? You damn pig. This is what I get for trying to be a nice guy. Okay. Ready? Yeah, fuck you, stupid pig. Now you're outside and nice and safe. The things I do for my animal friends. He's gonna just break in now. Make his way back up here. I probably should put a frame in that doorway. All right, let's get a frame down in this doorway. Gotta wait for this to finish scrapping. Oh, shit! Damn, pig! I was trying to save your life! Should've just knocked the stairs out. Oh, uh, well. Clear. Got zombies at the front door, though. Let's 
Don't do anything stupid, pig. I already killed one more pig than I would have liked to today. Even though Grace is going to have to die as well. Dealing with Grace is going to be uh, a little different this time. Because last time we got the jump on Grace, we went in the back way. We went in through her uh, her cage. Whereas now we're going we're gonna to be dropping in into that room. We got to be careful not to wake her up before we can kind of get out of harm's way, you know? Again, these zombies got to be on the other side of this wall here. Yep. Come here, big mama. Nope. Shit. It was a setup. They were distracting me while these two beat through the wall. What are you ladies doing? It's open now. You don't have to stand here anymore. Well, they're dead now anyway. Well, let's, uh, let's loot this area then. I know we're uh, a little off track here. We're supposed to go upstairs and then go through the attic and then come back down this way, but fuck it. There's not much going on in the attic anyway. Let's grab this super corn. Actually, there's a whole bunch of cement up in the attic. We'll get there. We're just doing this a little bit uh, unorthodox. Take the gunpowder. I'm good on that golden rod tea, though. Now for the basement. We got a bunch more cement and cobblestone down here, plus more super corn. Let's grab all this shit right here. Man, we are going to have a ton of super corn growing at the farm. We planted more this morning. Looks like we're going to plant some more this evening. That's, we should have just planted super corn. That's what the farm should have been. Just super corn. That's what we should have named the series. Fucking super corn. gotta be a little careful here we've done this plenty of times before dropped in on grace she shouldn't wake up oh it sounded like she just made a noise though one piece of cornmeal fine i'll fucking take it is she awake already um oh i don't think she would be awake I can't see into her little pit. Oh, this is stupid. Holy shit, she is awake. Fuck. Not good. Oh my god. Get off me. Wow. What the hell? What woke her up? Was it all the gunfire? Holy shit. Well, that was the closest call I ever had with Grace before. I kept hearing little squealing sounds, so I had a feeling she was awake. I probably should have handled that a bit differently than just jumping down and hoping for the best, but... Hey, we're alive. So, wasn't the worst decision I've ever made. Nice. Uh, scrap, scrap. And you know what? Fuck off, cornmeal, for the second time today. If we head up these stairs, then uh, we're gonna have some zombies to deal with. There's another one somewhere. Oh, big boy. And a crawler right there. Let's deal with big boy first. Dead. Deal with this fucker, then we'll grab this cement. 
check the loot we skipped, and then if we go upstairs again, there'll be uh, a room with a shit ton more cement, and there's a weapons bag up there as well, I think. We'll grab that, and then we'll get out of here. Oh, uh, what the hell? Let's break in here real fast. Small little POI, and it's a bookstore, and uh, it's about time we find the Crucible schematic so we can get one of those crafted. See if we can get lucky. Find one here. Wake up. There we go. Fuck off, crawler. I turned my headlight off, because I thought I'd be sneaky. I'm not a sneaky guy. Motherfucker! <laughs> I just can't get away from this one piece of cornmeal today. Uh, spear book. Alright. No crucible recipe. Um, let's check in here. You know, I think there might be a bookshelf upstairs, along with the zombie, too. There's, like, an apartment upstairs. Well, we might as well make another mushroom spore. Throw that up on the wall. I know I said we're good on food, but I would still like to, um, make some vegetable stew. You know, so there we go. Growing that mushroom wall. All right. Let me get this uh, inventory put away. And then I'll probably do some work down in the mine so we can make some more concrete. Uh, so we can do some more upgrading to the base tomorrow before the horde shows up. And uh, that's going to be it, actually. Can make a little more concrete right now. Not much, but we'll get it moving. And uh, like I said, I'll get some more stone in the mine and get more of that crafting. We'll do some base upgrading tomorrow. And I noticed a main road heading south from the town we were just in, the one that's south of Joel's town. So I'm curious as to what's down there. Might do that in the next episode. We'll do some work to the base. We'll take a ride down uh, even further south. See what's going on down there. Then we'll come back here and fight a horde. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.